We would buy cars and coffee. It was awesome. So I just left the cars and coffee lot, as you could see. Um, kind of bummed out, but we're going to the Lava Cantina in the colony where they have cantina and cars, which I'm actually a little bit late for, uh, about an hour too late, because cars and coffee was the last time. If you haven't seen that video, uh, the link is going to be at the end of this video or in the description, or just check out the YouTube channel. So I really wonder if this show is going to be just as cool as the last time. So the last time it was small because it was the first time. This time is the second time. So I wonder if there's going to be a lot more people out there right now. But you never know. And that, that's the wonder of going to a car show that uh, you never know what you're going to see. And I really hope that there's going to be a lot more cars out there now than there were last time. So you can already see the parking lot over there and it's full. You see Lava Cantina is right over there. This you have to watch out for. When you go to Lava Cantina and you come out of the Plano area, this bridge over here, never make the mistake to go too fast because you will screw up your car. Yeah, look at that, man. The car lot is full. I don't think we're gonna have any parking up here. So we're gonna go over here. It's funny how the first time they come over here and they have that show, there's no one there. And the second time, they don't have enough parking. Well, let's go uh, see what we can see while I <laughs> navigate this here off-roading, which my Mustang never does. Look, it's gravel. All right, so I um, guess I'm parking it uh, somewhere where I'm not gonna hose up my car or I can still get out. <laughs> Look at that guy, that's freaking hilarious. I see a Mustang over there. Ooh, man. Oh, man. If you don't watch out, look at that freaking rut. I'd be stuck. This guy has the right idea. Yeah, parking out in a dirt field. If you want to make 100% sure no one parks next to you, buy a Jeep. This is like cars and coffee redux here. Cool stuff in the lot. Nice CTSV coupe. I mean, you cannot go wrong with these. Now look at this MR2, man. Still got somewhat of a weakness for these. But too bad I can't get a better shot of that Mustang over there either. Man, I have to walk just as far to get to the show here as I did cars and coffee. A pair of Challengers with the right engines in them. And then the uh, Viper. We're not even at the freaking show yet. Now, my arms are getting tired. I'm being a weakling. So I'm gonna put you guys on my shoulder till uh, we get to the meat of the show. See you there.
Pagani out of all things. <laughs> Everyone was swarming that thing. I was lucky to get a couple of shots in because man, that is one beautiful car. That carbon fiber, whoa. I just wish I had just a little bit more time alone with that car, but you know, that sort of thing is impossible. It's definitely time for me to go home right now. My arms are freaking tired. Okay, I'm gonna have to transition a lot. Uh, I just need to work out more. That's what that is. So what do you know? I walk out to the car, you know, I'm almost there gonna catch my breath and remember that uh, cool Mustang at the beginning of the video I got some nice shots of it so let's see it Apologize for the wind noise in that one, but uh, that is glorious. So guys, I'm in the car, turn the AC on, nice and comfortable. I think I'm gonna be coming here monthly. This show has a great feel to it, really cool people here, and very nice cars as well, as you could see in the video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.